In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use measure tables and subfolders to organize your measures in Power BI. We're going to go through this step by step together so you can follow along. So let's get to it. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's get started with this example project that I prepared for you today. Here we have a very simple human resources report that I prepared for a previous video but I reckon we could reuse it for this one. So if we look at the data that we have here, we have an employee's query that has some information about the employees such as their their area their business unit their start date and end date and you'll see that we have built up a couple of measures that we've started using to generate these visuals that we have here now as you work with more tables with more columns you're gradually going to build up a lot of these measures and sure you can use the search function to search for the measures that you want but eventually it will become a little bit difficult to manage them especially if your measures are in different queries the best way that you're going to be able to organize your measures into one place is to use a measure table which is a single table that is purely dedicated to hold your DAX measures so to create a measure table you'll need to start by clicking enter data we'll just create a simple table that doesn't have any data in it we'll use it to hold our DAX measures we'll name it DAX but it can be anything that you want and hit load so you'll see it generates a table for us which has just one column with no data in it. From here what we'll do is we'll go to the model view and then we'll grab all of our measures here. So I'm just using control click to select multiple measures here. And then we'll drag them all into the DAX table that we created. Let's go back to the report view and let's hide this column that we just created, the empty one. And you'll see if I click the hide pane and show pane again, you'll see that Power BI converts this table into a measure table. So it's always pinned at the very top of your fields. What you'll now have is a measure table that houses all of your measures that you use for this model. So you don't have to even use the search function or look through the different queries that you have in order to find the measures. And because measures aren't like calculated columns where you need to store them in a specific table in order for them to work, measures don't really have that dependency so there is no penalties for you for organizing your measures in the same table. So now we've organized our DAX measures into a measure table but you'll see we still have a few ways to go so we have a few measures that are categorized on different calculations for example we have headcount but also we have headcount year on year or headcount month on month and the same thing with levers and starters and we want to be able to organize them as well within the measure table. Another way that you can organize your DAX measures is to use subfolders. So let me show you how you do that. So we'll go back to the model view again and this time we'll go back to the DAX measures. Let's highlight for example the headcount for now. So let's headcount year on year and month on month. I'm holding the control click to select all of them and then you'll see on the display folder let's put this into a headcount subfolder. So when we hit enter you'll see that it creates a subfolder within the DAX measure which organizes our headcounts neatly into one folder. Let's do the same thing for our levers and starters. So let's go to the levers, control click on all your measures and we'll put this into levers and then starters as well. So I'll hold shift to select all three and then we'll do starters here. And there you have it. Now you know how to create a measures table to organize your DAX measures into one place. And you also now know how to create subfolders to organize your measures even further. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let me know in the comment section box below. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much guys for watching. See you again on the next one.